I was so excited to work with with uh, Kibu. Uh, he's definitely the one of the outstanding players of, of, of the team. Of course, he was not uh, uh, with us in Egypt, so he missed that big, big part of pre-season. Uh, but now, do you think Kianga is the best, like football-wise, apart from being a coach, apart from being a single, single coach? Do you think Kianga is the best? He's one of the best in Africa. Look, Yanga has, has had the, the privilege of uh, being probably the fourth year into the, the project. Huge, huge uh, institution as well. And Simba is a big, big, big brand, a big, big club, uh, you know, of the top two uh, most followed teams in Africa. And a huge, huge club. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying every second. Uh, I really enjoy the environment. Uh, with, the, with the standard of the local Tanzanian players, they, they, they are very, very good players. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so lucky to have good, good quality Tanzanian players uh, on my side. Uh, and if you look at the league as well, the talent in the league is, is, is very, very... Uh, like I said, the, the club will make an announcement once he is signed. At the moment, uh, once uh, nothing is uh, confirmed and, and in ink yet, so uh, I don't comment on, on Alien Pants. Sorry. After qualifying the team, how can you take the team to the next step, the next level? And it's a constant uh, uh, um, desire to, to grow the team. So what I've seen and what I've experienced so far, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I love this country, I love the people. Uh, and hopefully when we have more time off, I'll be able to see more of Tanzania. Yeah, you ever seen the euphoria of the games, like the fans, how they're, they're so engaged in every game we've been so far. Like, I know this is like the first, first big job you have in your career. Do you like have any pleasure? being a, a Simba coach? No, I've, uh, I've, I was in charge of Orlando Pirates, a very big club. It's, yeah. it's a huge, huge institution. Uh, I work for, for Raja in the last uh, job, a huge, huge institution as well. And Simba is a big, big, big brand, a big, big club, uh, you know, of the top two uh, most followed teams in Africa. And a huge, huge club. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying every second. Uh, I really enjoy the environment, the league, the, the professionalism from the club, the support from the board, the support uh, the, the direct support from the president. Uh, I can only, I, ca I can't be, I can't complain about anything at the moment. Yes, it's a new project, it's a new team. We are building step by step, and that is where we've got to remain calm, remain humble, and know where we are uh, at this stage of the project. And uh, there's so much potential, but we have to take it step by step. What's your take on uh, the young players that you have in the squad, especially when you're demanding for a new strike? and he's been so close a player for Simba so far since you demand like you have a three strikers now you have a Mutale, you have a Mubala what can you make of these three players so far they seem to struggle a little bit in terms of how they're playing what can you help them to to be a, like better better players no uh, it was very important uh, Ateba to play his first match everybody was surprised why why he came off in Tripoli after doing so well giving them uh, uh, so much problems but you know, he's only in week uh, uh, four and a half, five of his since he joined us. He did uh, um, one, two weeks of intense running in, in his previous club and uh, not yet uh, fully fit. And now playing 60 minutes the first game and now 90 minutes, uh, he, will, he can only improve and get better. Uh, at the moment, our, our Makwala scored in the last game, uh, uh, league game. Um, uh, Mashaka has come on and scored in every game he's, he's, he's played for us uh, in the league. So uh, its competition is, is extremely tough. You know, uh, I have a headache in terms of uh, who to play. But that is what it's about at the big club. You know, you, nobody's guaranteed a play because uh, somebody's breathing down your, your neck to be able to, to push you for your place. And you can't, you have to perform at a high, high level in each and every match you play. And that's the competition you want as a, as a, as a coach and as a player as well. At the moment, they are, uh, we are three strikers that have completely different profiles and uh, they can complement each other. I can play with two strikers, I can play with three strikers. And uh, yeah, as the team grow, we will be able to to be more flexible in in how we approach matches, and uh, that will give the squad a bit more uh, uh, freedom to maybe uh, downsize the squad uh, in January to make it smaller, that everybody um, can be pushing each other for places and players that can play in different positions as well. Four goalkeepers now in Simba. Kamar has been fantastic. You have Al Salim, he's been good in the national team. You have Manula, he's also one of the most experienced keepers. Like, it's a position you can't change always, like you can't go to that position. Is 
Kamara, the first choice keeper now in Simba. Kamara has been playing very well. Uh, like I said, the, the competition is there. Uh, Aishi joined us late, so he's only now been three weeks uh, training, getting fit. But already he's travelled with us, already he's been part. We know his experience, we know his quality. Uh, Salim as well in the national team, fantastic uh, performances. And, and that's what it is. Ayub is, is coming back in, in three, four weeks. He'll be on the pitch, start uh, his finishing rehabilitation uh, programme. Uh, um, so Ayub uh, will be coming as well, giving our department a huge boost. And, and that is what you want. It's, uh, uh, Kamara has been playing well and like every position, you're playing well, but there's quality uh, waiting and, and ready to, to take your place if you if you drop the level of, of standard. So uh, not talking about the goalkeeper department, but each and every player in his position uh, is not safe because uh, there's quality in the next line waiting to play. Coach, uh, some player, uh, they say that you, you live with them like a father. Does it help you to, to manage them? Yeah, I've, I've uh, come from a, a very poor background where I grew up and I know uh, I grew up in with lots of friends around with, with no fathers. You know, that is the, the the dynamic of us in Africa, you know, uh, um, and you've got to be help the player to be the best version of himself. First of all, and sometimes you've got to be hard, and sometimes they need an arm around the shoulder. Sometimes they need a, a, a friendly advice, not in terms of only football, but in, in outside life because life does not uh, stop after football. You know, there's other interests, there's other uh, dreams and, and goals, and that is what we try to do with each and every player to create that. Uh, a bond with them to be able to get the best out of them on the pitch because at the end of the day each and every one of us not only the players the coaches as well is on their own journey as their own story and uh, me as the leader of this uh, institution is try to get the best out of each and every one and that's just the management style that uh, I try to use uh, wherever I coach. If I'm not mistaken uh, at your first press conference here in Tanzania you said that uh, you need to add some players in order to strengthen your squad. Are you happy now or you still have the plan to add more players? The window, the window is closed uh, at the moment and of course the, the, the scouting department, uh, our analysts are always on the lookout for, for, for players that are available and uh, of course uh, when, the, when the window is open anything can happen. Uh, like I said, we we at the start of the project. I I came. It was good, very good recruitment made by the by the by the team by Simba, and uh, I was I was uh, very much involved in the two signings, Kamara and Ateba. So those were the only two signings after I came that I was uh, involved in. But uh, a very good recruitment made by the by the club. The type of uh, project was already outlined before I joined, and uh, I think I was just the, the final piece to be able to put this uh, in place. And you can see the dynamic, the, the range, the profile of the of the, the players that were signed as players with potential that has not yet um, maximized where they are in their careers. Uh, so um, as we coach them, as they grow, as they learn, as they go through experiences, going back to your previous question, uh, they will grow, they will become better, and will improve, and, and that's just the process and uh, it's normal in, in, in football uh, uh, if you did not qualify your squad is too big but now of course we qualify for CAF we're not really sure what's going to happen with the AFL um, so you know we will cross that bridge when we get there whether we need to add whether we need to reduce the squad whether we whatever we need to do in that regard but uh, works behind the scenes are always ongoing if you're not signing in this window you're signing at the end of the season some players are available now some players are only available later so that's an ongoing process that goes on in, in clubs like Simba. Uh, with, uh, with your squad and the quality of this, your squad uh, can you promise anything to Simba fans about the title I think uh, if, uh, my approach is clear that uh, I don't want to to be thinking too far. You know, we only we only try to focus on the next game, and uh, I urge the Simba fans uh, to do the same. As a, as a fan, you have to dream. You have to dream to to win every trophy, and I I urge them to dream. You know, for us as coaches and players, we have to focus on the next game and not to get caught up in the euphoria. So. Uh, I urge the Simba fans to dream, but for us, allow us to focus on the next game and, now, and I urge them to be behind us 
in the next game. In each and every game, we need them to be behind us because they made a huge difference in the last game. Going 1-0 down in such a, a game, knowing that you have to score two goals, they were behind us. They pushed us to, uh, to get the two goals before halftime. So uh, that is the type of uh, uh, power that they have. And, and I just uh, thank them for, for that and I urge them to be there every game we play. We can be 1-0 one, one down, 2-0 down. Uh, we will fight until the last second and I urge them to be behind us like they were in the last match. Next game, is, uh, you are facing Azam. Can you give us the picture? How do you see the game? Um, we, we, at the first time this season now, we face the... Uh, you can become 90 minutes fit. That's the first part of your, your plan. Uh, the next parameter will be can, how quick do you recover between matches. And this is the first time we will play now with three matches between. I'm not sure how we will react. I'm not sure if I have to make five changes. Uh, so that is playing within three days. And then the next parameter will be the Doma the next day, two days between. So this is the first test really where we, where we face that. Of course, we've done the necessary work in terms of our, our pre-season plan to be able to be ready for this. But to, to experience it for the first time, you, you will only know how your squad handles it once the game starts. Are we going to start sluggish and then come into the game? Are we going to start like a house on fire and then drop uh, later on because we cannot maintain the the, uh, the playing style that we'll, we'll know once the game starts. But we prepare like normal, like I said today was about recovery slash uh, restart and then tomorrow some light uh, uh, tactical work and uh, all I know is Azam is a top top team uh, with, with very good players uh, uh, and uh, it's going to be a very very tough match. Before the international play, uh, the uh, young coach Miguel Gamond is complaining about the, a lot of fixtures. Like there's a lot of games now. Like you say, you have a little time to recover from this game to another game. Right? I know it's, it's hectic for you to think about changes, all these substitutions mm -hmm. like you make for the players. It's so hard for a coach like right now in this situation. It's like the whole world now is complaining about a lot of games. What you, what what is your thoughts on this? About many matches that mm. you play. Like yeah. we have international break on October. We have international break on November. We have yeah. international break in January. Mm. I know for, for for a coach it's so it's so hectic. Yeah, I think uh, for coaches we are okay, but uh, I think on the. On the big stage in, in Europe, they, are, they have an influx of games where it goes to over 60 games. I don't think we, we're there yet. Uh, with, with the CAF and Champions League, we could go up to 50, uh, depending uh, with some other CAFs, maybe 55. So uh, at the moment, we are, we are still okay. But uh, what, what makes it hard in, in Africa is uh, you know, the, the distance you have to travel in, in, in relation to Europe. A one hour flight, two hour flight, here we have to uh, fly to to Turkey, spend the night in Turkey and then get, catch a flight to Libya so it was a, a strenuous time so when you are planning such things as uh, do you have a big squad and then you leave seven players behind and what type of training they have behind that is why we have such a huge technical team to be able to keep everybody fit and ready so that when you do need to make changes the other players have not been on holiday while you've been seven, ways in, uh, seven days in Libya they've been training Mm, uh, like I said, the, the club will make an announcement once he is signed at the moment, uh, once uh, nothing is uh, confirmed and, and in ink yet, so uh, I don't comment on, on Alien Pants, sorry. After qualifying at Group Stage, what's your plan? Uh, my plan is to now at the moment to focus on the league because the the CAF draw is only going to be 7th of October and uh, the, the matches are probably pushed back to November that's the latest we've heard not not confirmed yet so at the moment CAF we put completely to the side uh, our focus now at the moment is completely to the league the next three matches and, and nine points to play for before the FIFA break and, and that's all our focus at the moment once the group stages come uh, we analyze our group we will calculate exactly in terms of which matches where away which countries you're traveling to and then take it uh, game by game. Against uh, the next is against other see this is my dad. You know this is my dad. Yes, yes, I don't, I don't know. Yes. Is meaning? No, I don't know. You don't know them a meaning of the game? No. Okay, I will tell you. Uh, what's your call against uh, uh, other see on uh, of September? What is? What? What's your call against Adam? What do I see the game as? Mm, yes. The derby. Uh, 
I've analyzed, we've analyzed Azam now in the matches before the new coach and the three matches with the new coach and there's definitely a difference uh, in relation to their playing style. They've got an extremely, extremely good squad. Uh, they've got an extremely good, young, dynamic squad, very similar to our profiles of our squad, young players with lots of potential, uh, probably the difference is they've got more South Americans than us, or more South American based uh, foreigners and uh, these players have so much potential, so much uh, uh, skills that can win a game out of uh, completely nothing and uh, we have to be very, very uh, detailed in our approach. Uh, how we approach this game because if you don't uh, apply yourself uh, tactically, physically, from the mental side and of course a derby of this magnitude is, is, is one with, with fine, fine margins. Uh, if we don't uh, um, improve our performance, what we did against uh, Al Ahli Tripoli, uh, we will find ourselves in problems because they are a very, very good side. How, how, how is Tanzania league so far? After two matches you played. Yeah, what I've seen of the the matches so far, the league is is quite competitive. Uh, uh, you saw Fountain Gate after our game; they started winning, and uh, you know if each each and every team can beat beat any team. If you're not concentrated, if you don't go into detail in terms of your analysis, you can get caught because they are talented players. I'm I'm very very. Uh, um, um, happy and uh, with, with the standard of the local Tanzanian players, they, they, they are very, very good players. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so lucky to have good, good quality Tanzanian players uh, on my side. Uh, and if you look at the league as well, the talent in the league is, is, is very, very high. Um, tactically, uh, of course, uh, when you put in the concepts, it's, it's all new to them. But how they adapt and how they learn and how they try to execute is, is very, very good. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by the level of, of technical skills, uh, physical skills that they have here. Out of Simba, uh, in other clubs, which uh, the best player do you see? No, I don't want to, to single out individuals. Uh, I think it would be unfair on, on, on players. I watch the national team and the national team have got a very good team. I mm. uh, watch the Ethiopia game and, and the match uh, uh, they won after that uh, in the last FIFA break. And a very, very good uh, team uh, with lots of, lots of potential. I think uh, in the next uh, window period, uh, our, well, lots of our players will be called up as well. You know, Kibble was not fit in the last uh, window, and there are lots of players that has to be uh, in the national team on, on our side, even though they're not even playing. So, Coach, is, uh, the, this uh, youth development, you know, Simba the younger in the RC, they, don't, they don't have a lot of youth players, and it's like a big, big crisis for us because we don't have like a proper development when it comes to these clubs trusting these young players. Mm. Like, what what do you take on that? Can you trust these young players? Like your your squad is averaging, I think, 24, 25 years of age. It's very young squad, but these players who are under 20, what what do you take on them? Why like a lot of coaches they don't trust them? No, uh, for me, if you if you good enough, you're old enough. Uh, I don't mind playing a 17-year-old, 16-year-old if he's good enough. The our under 20 team started training last week. Uh, they were on a break, so uh, after this busy period, we'll put a, a little bit more uh, uh, depth and analysis into the, the, the younger team, but you know, your youth is your future. It's, it's so, so important and I'm a huge believer in getting them the right training at a young age and you know uh, the, the, a talent you can see uh, at any moment by watching them train for, for five minutes you can see a talent and then it's about taking these players and already bringing them up to the first team and getting them to train with us and and, and get used to our, our intensity our playing style and uh, I'm sure um, I haven't seen them yet but I'm sure once I go in I'm sure I'll find three four five uh, players that will be training with the first team in Immediately. That's definitely one of my my, my um, policies, and what I really love is is young, talented players. And uh, I'm sure once you go into this uh, youth setup of Simba, we'll be able to find. Okay, Kip Dennis came last. He was the last player to came. Who's that? Simba squad. Kip Dennis. Yeah. He was very close in the last game. He scored a goal, which was very important. Last season he was struggling with his form, you know, he's a, he's a forward, but he was not scoring Gregory and a lot of fans were saying it's not good enough, but it's very important for his work rate, I think, you've been enjoying so far. 
what, what can you help him as a coach to become a better player? And what is his strength as a player? Like you train with him every day, you see his best side, you see his like his weakness side. Mm. What can you what can you say like about Kip Dennis as a player? I think before I, I I joined Simba and you do analysis of the squad, I was so excited to work with with uh, Kibu. Uh, he's definitely the one of the outstanding players of of, of the team. Of course, he was not uh, uh, with us in Egypt, so he missed that big, big part of pre-season. Uh, but now he's finally comp completed week five, week six, and uh, we were preparing in this off-season off break, giving him some minutes against Ali Lal and JKT uh, to build up his, his match minutes. He's not yet fit. He's uh, not yet uh, at the level where uh, I was really surprised that he, he pushed so far in such an intense match. Um, there's so much uh, more to to Kibu than we actually see. Uh, it's about guiding him. We have to do analysis of his performance in the last match because um, to get the best out of his skills. You know, he has a he has a unique skill set in terms of uh, one against one. He has a unique skill set in terms of playing out wide, playing on the inside, playing as a as a forward as well. And it's about us about finding the best position for him within the match because uh, uh, to be able to get the best out of players like this you have to you have to allow them to be free within a certain structure of the team and uh, if he's if he's then able to be free within the structure of the team and you put certain uh, mechanisms around him uh, to be able to help him and get the best out of him you'll see a different cable uh, it's now only the first step um, played his first match, and uh, it's an ongoing process. You will only, we'll only see the best of of Kibu once he's with us uh, completely for two, three, four months uh, to be able to then work on him, play a match, do the analysis, improve, do extra training, and and get the best out of him. So uh, you play with huge potential, and uh, step by step we'll get there. Okay, coach. By my side, I just wanted to know you. Uh vision in this Cup Confederation League, mm -hmm. apart from that you have been given by the team. Yeah, I, I, that was very important, the, the meeting with the players today, to say uh, let's put the, the CAF Confederations Cup aside, it's finished, it's done. Um, the draw is only on the 7th of October and my latest information is that the match will be moved to November. So we have to focus on the league right now. <laughs> and uh, uh, our immediate concern now is Azam and three points against Azam. Yeah. So uh, we've got nine points to play for now before the FIFA break and that's our only focus at the moment. So take the euphoria away, take the celebrations away, take this big uh, two matches against Al Ahli Tripoli, put it aside and let's focus to the league. That's our, our immediate objective. Uh, when the group stage comes, uh, we will then analyze the group and, and see where we have to travel, what we have to do, what is required to be able to get out of the group. And then still, after that, take it game by game. Every match we'll play, we'll play to win, and, and that is clear. And uh, we will try our best to be able to do that. All right. African teams now, they're saying Young is one of the best team in Africa. One of the best team in Africa. What do you, you take on that? Do you think Young has the best team, like football-wise, apart from being a coach, apart from being a single coach? Do you think Young is the best? He's one of the best team in Africa. Look, Young has has had the, the privilege of uh, being probably the fourth year into the the project. Uh, so they've been ke keeping the team together for a long time. They've been building that uh, uh, team chemistry, uh, keeping the, the big players, uh, building, strengthening the team around it. Not uh, what we have done, we've, we've started from scratch. They've showed last season against Mamelodi Sundowns, maybe the away goal, maybe the goal uh, Aziz Key could have put, uh, put them through could have uh, put them through so they've got a very good uh, um, continuity in their team at the moment and they're very strong they showed it against sundown they showed it against guys the chiefs in pre-season 4-0 uh, and uh, yeah that uh, once you have the time to keep uh, teams together you have to be at that level and you expect uh, younger to be at the level they are at the moment they are a team that uh, should uh, be getting to the quarter final semi-final of, of champions league because they have kept their team together uh, so uh, that is the, the the credit you can give them that they kept it together and that is where they are where they are supposed to be. Uh, coach, uh, which is your preferred position? 